Saturday, July 24th, it's coming. Born to Ride's Great American Moto Fest. Stuff. Well, it looks like he's got a, a shovel head, of course, an old flat side. I call them flat sides. Some people call them slab sides, but I've never heard of that in my entire life until about five years ago. But uh, uh, he's also got a flathead engine over there. I think it's a big twin 80, so let's go take a look. I'm thinking if you're uh, if you're restoring an older bike, this is the guy you need to talk to. If he doesn't have the parts you're looking for on the tables, I'm sure he knows where to, to get them, because he's got all the old stuff here. The oil pumps and the carburetors. You know, these are like liquid gold. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, you, these are cast iron. You see it? These are cast iron. You can rebuild them. They never really wear out. They might break or go bad if a gear messes up. Uh, the same thing with the carburetors. These things are, this body's probably at least $100 just, just for this piece. By the time you got it rebuilt with all the other parts and pieces, it probably worth $750. He's got all the, he's got all the early 45 parts. He's got uh, everything he's got out here is a treasure, you know. So if you're trying to restore a bike and you want to be specific to the year, this guy's got the parts you need. If you ask him for the specific parts, I'm sure if you don't have them here, he'll bring them to you at the next event. Well, see, there's two different styles here now. You got to see the difference here? Yeah. where the, the it's yeah. smooth you know and this one's got an extra ridge on it. Well, so the extra ridge has got the uh, oiler built in there so it's an adjustable oiler. So these are two different. I think one's an early pan head and one's a late pan head. Hey partner, you got a second? Yeah. Uh, what's the difference in the oil pumps? This is an earlier pan head pump and that's a later pan head pump. With you can the, tell it by the rip right with the there. Boss? I don't know what you got here. I didn't look at it. Yeah, this is a real early one. That's, that's an early pan. That Well, it's a late it's a late knucklehead and an early pan. Okay. They're almost the same. The, the width of the gears change a little bit. Right, and what what would this piece be worth? Oh, that's like a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that well, what you said? <laughs> I'm pretty close today, pretty accurate, you know, because I know what this stuff's worth too, and I wouldn't give it away for less than a hundred. <laughs> Come on. I want to see if there's a uh, reverse clear in there. Well, here's the here's the gold mine in that pile. Yep. That's the idler gear for a reverse transmission. <laughs> and I just said, let's see if we can find one, but that's it. Look at that little jewel. Probably one out of <laughs> How many? How many that <laughs> All of them. Know that. It's a reverse gear. Know. There's the stud, and the reverse gear goes inside the transmission. Yeah. And then when you go to hit reverse, the gear comes all the way over and engages this, making the transmission gears turn the opposite direction. What would something like that cost today? Man, we know. We know what it is. Now see, that's a hell of a deal right there. Twenty dollars. Well, cylinders, the, the problem with cylinders, you have to measure them to see what size they are, because if they got rust in them or something like that, you really won't know. This is a cylinder sleeve. Back in the day, after you uh, bored the, the, the cylinder too much, it was overboard, you couldn't get a piston big enough. So what they would do is they would machine the bore out and then press this sleeve, this is a cast iron sleeve, they would press it into the case and then it would cool off and it would lock into position. Then you could go back to a standard bore cylinder. But the best part about it was, is the sleeve is a much cleaner steel. So the piston's actually slicker going up and down the sleeve exactly. than it is the cast iron. A lot of people don't know what them things are. They say, what the hell was that? Well, we got a, we got a lower end that's, that's still together, but it's a twin cam engine, it's in pieces. So this is a good opportunity for people to see what the engine looks like that have never seen one apart. Of course, you got your cylinders missing, and then you got your head sitting on top of it. But this is what the twin cam engine looks like when it's apart and in pieces. And uh, it usually gets stripped down this far when they hop them up for you at the Harley shop, but never past that. They'd hardly ever uh, change out the stroke. So uh, this, is a, this is a chance to see what they look like. These are the uh, 95 cubic inch cylinders and uh, pistons, and you can go oversize on this. But the, the, the two rods hanging out there, you got your uh, uh, cam gear and your drive gear. Now this, this motor's fuel injected, uh, no doubt about it. The cylinders, of course, are missing, but the heads would sit on top of it. There's the head. The head would sit on top of it just like that. 
And that's what your twin cam engine looks like when it's all in one piece. So now you know what the insides look like. Uh, an, an engine like this right here is probably about $1,000 with all the parts and pieces. It would probably take another uh, 800 in parts and then probably $1,200 in labor to put it all back together as a fresh motor again. What you want for this? Uh, I'd like to get eight, but I'm open. Offer. Well, <laughs> what I say, nine? <laughs> I just I just quoted nine. It's a complete motor. Uh huh. Oh, you got the rest of it also. This is the cam cover. Yeah, the cam cover. Yeah, this is this. Well, see now now everybody will recognize it. There's your cam cover. Okay. Once once we slide it in place, uh, there's your twin cam engine now. In case you didn't recognize it earlier. And that's a that's a, a great deal, eight hundred dollars for an engine. Like eight, I said eight eight hundred dollars for this engine. The valve job looks like it's okay. Uh, I'm not sure about the pistons and cylinders. You'd have to mic them out. But the cam drive, everything else is all in good shape still. So for somebody that's you know going to the AMI school or something like that that wants to start uh, building a bike from pieces, this is an incredible engine to start with.